All right, today's adventure, we are at the Abilene, Abilene State, State Park. Park. Woo! All right, so we just got here. It's about 16 miles uh, southwest of Abilene. So it's not in the city of Abilene, it's about 16 miles out. Um, and we just got into the park. We're at the pool. Okay, obviously it's closed, it's not summertime, but we're, we're here right now, we're gonna look at it, uh, check it out, take some pictures. That's gonna be on our Instagram page of Mr. S Travel Quest on Instagram, on IG. So, are you ready? Ready. Let's do it, and we have a special guest with us. She wasn't with us last time, but she's <laughs> with us today. It's Mari! The New Deal work programs like the CCC put thousands of men to work during the Great Depression. 29 CCC constructed structures still remain today in Texas State Park. This building you see here was built in 1934. We just walked up the little stairs, uh, like a tower overlooking the pool. That's right behind me. Uh, this pool was made in the 30s. Entrance to the park is $5. Uh, when the pool opens up, it's gonna open up in May and that's $2 per person. See you right there. So the pool area looks pretty nice. Obviously it's empty, it's not summer, it's not warm weather right now, but I'm definitely coming back here in the summer to cool off. What are you guys doing? about coming to the pools during the summer. Whee! We just got done with uh, the pool and play area of the park. It's well, pretty we fun. Weren't, we were not. We're not actually able to swim today, but I think we would come back during May when it opens. We'd come swimming, camping. The swimming pool actually is goes 12 from feet. four to twelve feet. Twelve and feet. That's like a big deal because my kids love swimming in deep pools. First trail in the Abilene State Park. Eagle Trail. A beautiful day. Today's a really nice day. I'm surprised. I mean, Texas winters aren't cold, but sometimes it's sixty degrees is cold for us. Really nice. I love it. It was a perfect day to come out here. But you know what? Uh, we got the season pass, right? Are you ready to do this in the summer? Mm, if there's a pool, yes. Yes, and this park has the pool. The Eagle Trail is ADA accessible. Weren't these so, the same trees that we saw at the Pendanellas Falls? Yep, same trees. You see any berries? They're all right here, look. If you haven't checked out a Pendanellas Falls video, check it out in the description below. But we found these there as well. We just finished Eagle Trail and it's point two. And it's really easy. Real easy. Straight trail. Anybody can do it. You can even bring a wheelchair. We keep forgetting to bring out a little dog. 
because uh, some parks they don't allow in certain areas um, animals while well, your dog uh, but this this trail you see a lot of dogs a lot of people walking taking it easy enjoying the scenes they have a little uh, ramp that was kind of nice what do you think about it that's nice I think we should try Elm Creek trail next okay we're gonna try a different trail so here we go No, I think this is hiking trail. I like I like this park so far. They have a lot of trees, a lot of shade. Even in the summer, I think uh, it's a good hike. And if you get too hot, you can always go to that pool. What do you think? Yeah, can you also want to, like, go take a walk and then go jump in the pool? Yeah. Right after. Walking these trails, uh, I learned they have interpretive trails. Um, and this following the path that was given to us. See trails like this. But yeah, it's a nice hike. Everything so far is point, uh, point 0.2, point 0.4 uh, miles. And it's not hard, it's, it's not strenuous. It's nothing uh, going that's elevated that's really taking a toll. And here we go, we're gonna go off the beacon path. So this is what they call an interpretive trail. See? You said this leads to a creek. Yeah, if you're in a wheelchair, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend going to here, but I see a beaver, babe. Or a skunk. You want to see a beaver? No. Three feet tall? <laughs> no. We're at the creek where you can fish. They said you can fish up to what? Five fish per day? You can capture for five what? fish per five, five per person. Five fish per person. So this next time, crab, next time we're gonna bring uh, the fishing poles. What do you recommend uh, for people who haven't been to the state park? Uh, what could you do at this park? Um, I think you could go fishing, take short trail walks. Um, you could picnic with your family. There's a nice little park area for kids. There's a swimming pool. Um, you can camp out, you can bring mm. your bikes. There's nice roads for you to bike on. I think this- uh, Bring your fishing pole. I think this park, uh, of course we've been to Enchanted Rock, uh, Pedernales Falls. Uh, we just visited San Angelo. Angelo State Park. But this park, for so far, how I feel, it has the best overall package with, uh, like you said, the yeah. bike riding, the, the hiking. It's not too strenuous, so the whole family can do it. Uh, they have a swimming pool, which is a big plus. Um, yeah, I think so far, what we saw here, um, it's a nice park and it has something for everybody. And we just saw some people fishing and uh, you said they had a canoe out? Um, no. Or a kayak? We didn't see, oh. we thought maybe, but okay. there was. But yeah, you can canoe and kayak out here as well. Um, the water, it doesn't look dried up, even though this is, I guess, considered West Texas. And we saw somebody with a drone. Yeah, oh yeah, we saw somebody with a drone. Well, <laughs> you can't drone here, but shh. All right, we're at the fishing spot right now. If you guys like what you see in this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, uh, Mr. S Travel Quest. All our photos will be on our Instagram page at, at Mr. Underscore S Travel Quest. Yeah, she manages that. She does a great job with that. But uh, so far, we love the park. 
I love the park. Madi, do you love the park? Yes. What's your favorite part so far? I like this. Three, three, two, one. Now you're the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> You can rent out these screen shelters for $18 a night and right across the street are bathrooms with showers. These are yurts in case you don't want to pack a tent. They have electricity and beds, but no pets allowed. Sorry. All right, we're taking a walk to the bird blinds right now and we just passed some outdoors cabins um, and right next door to it um, they had a bathroom that had showers and stuff like that so if you want to come to the Abilene State Park they have everything near and walking distance oh look it's pretty stocked up look you can open this window but we're not gonna do that and you can see the seeds. Yeah, and there's no birds eating them. No, it's pretty stocked up. This area is pretty clean too. And it's called Laura's Blind. That's the end of our trip. Make sure to like and subscribe to our video if you want to see more content. Mr. S Travel Quest. Mr. S Travel Quest. On Mr. S Travel, Travel Quest. Quest. What are you doing? I'm pretending I'm climbing a pyramid. <laughs> this is practice. This is practice. Look at you. Oh my gosh. <laughs>